We are in Office 365 and we're going to create a new Office 365 group. So let's go ahead and do this in our admin center. We're going to click on admin. And when we do, we're going to get our admin center. After that, we go to the very bottom left icon and we choose exchange. And when you click on that, you'll end up with this exchange admin center that will show up. So click on recipients on the left hand side and then click on groups at the top. And now we're ready to create a new Office 365 group. Let's go ahead and click on new Office 365 group and we get a new wizard. And let's go ahead and give the group a name. And we'll just go ahead and call it sales. And the group email address will be sales at our domain name. Now we have the option here to make it public so anyone can see the content or we can make it private so only members can see the content. So if we choose private, then we're going to uh, pick specific people to go into our group. Let's go ahead and choose public instead because we want to share this with everyone. And from here, we're going to choose the owner and my uh, own name popped up when that happened just by default because I am creating the group. We'll choose our language and you can also put in a description about what this is about. And we also have subscribe new members. Subscribe members get conversations and calendar events delivered to their inbox. Otherwise, they'll only see them in the group's inbox. So if we uh, want to leave that in there, then it's going to show up in their own inbox as well. Let's go ahead and uncheck that. We only want it to show up in the group inbox just so they don't get a lot of duplicate information. Let's go ahead and choose save. And once we do that, we actually get this other box that pops up and it is part of membership. Let's go ahead and add some members and we'll just add Jane Doe, who's our only other member. We have delivery management, accept all messages from all senders, reject from no senders. So that basically allows email to come and go as we need it to go. We also have some group de delegation if we want to do send as and send on behalf, which we've covered in previous videos. Once we've added our members, just go ahead and click save. And there's our sales group that just appeared. And you can see it's an Office 365 group, which is different from the dynamic distribution group that was created in another video. Next, we're going to go into our email and let's take a look and we should see the groups that were created and there they are. There's the sales group and the accountants group. Let's go ahead and click on sales and you can see here that it shows up with the new sales group is ready to go. So if we send and receive messages for sales, then they'll show up here. Now, everybody who is in the group is going to be able to see this information. So they're going to see the groups show up at the bottom of their email and they're going to see sales. And in this case, we also have accountants as well. Now let's go ahead and send an email to sales and let's make sure it shows up. We'll go ahead and click on new and we'll just type in sales because we know that's the name of it. And we'll go ahead and click there and we'll click send. And this will also work from the outside as well. If people send to sales at our domain name.com. We can see it showed up. There's a little one that showed up there and there's our message. So now everyone who is a member of this group, which we can see in the top right, we see RM and JS, the two members, they'll be able to see that information uh, that shows up and any information that anyone else sends in the future. So that is how we create an Office 365 group and permissions in Microsoft Office 365.